Making a Minecraft server for your friends on your own is super hard. You have to know how to SSH into a VPS. Download and transfer a server.jar file using an FTP client. Port forward. Edit everything manually. Keep everything updated manually. Yes, you can do this all by yourself, but it takes a lot of time and energy that personally, we believe you deserve to keep. Today, we'll show you a better method to make a Minecraft server that is much easier, faster, and just as budget friendly. To get started, go to the link in the description. There, you will find a Minecraft hosting page. From here, you will be asked to pick a package. You can buy a server for as little as a dollar a month. If you don't want to pay right now, check out the free trials page in the description. Before buying a package, you'll want to figure out how much performance you need. If you're playing version 1.21 or above, pick an enterprise or extreme plan. Playing a version below 1.17? Save some money with our budget plans. Purchasing the server on Sparked Hosting is extremely easy. For example, let's say I want the Asteroid, $150 a month. I'll click that. This tells me everything I'm getting. I can then choose if I want to pay monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. For this example, I'll choose monthly. Then I can choose the type of Minecraft I'll be using. I'm just going to be using the Java edition. I can now choose the storage. 100 gigabytes is more than enough for me. If you already have a Minecraft server from a different host, they can help you transfer over everything from your old world. Then you select the closest location to you. For me, that would be Buffalo, New York. They also include three backup slots for three days of backups for free. You then have to agree to the limitations of this plan. And there are plenty of additional add-ons if you need them. When you have selected everything you want, go ahead and click continue. You'll be brought to this page to verify everything that you're purchasing. Check out, type in your personal information, your payment method. If you want to join their mailing list, then you have to read and agree to the terms, and then you can complete the order. Once you have done that, you now own a Minecraft server through Sparked Host. After you completed your purchase, you'll receive an email. You'll receive an email address verification where you can verify your email address. You'll receive a welcome email. You'll also receive an email for your order confirmation. In the welcome email you have received, you can access your client by clicking this link. You would log in with your email and password you made when purchasing the client. As you can see here, it says I have one service. If I click that, it will show my 24 hour trial that I have just purchased. Now, if I click the 24 hour trial, I could then go to panel. In here, you will just use the same username or email that you just used to purchase your server. Once you log in, you will see your new Minecraft server. Notice how it says pending setup. Just go ahead and click that. You'll get a little introduction welcoming you to your new server. You can then set your server name, create a subdomain, select the version of Minecraft. I'm going to choose vanilla with version 1.21 and install. Here you can set up schedules for your server, like to auto restart every day, backup every 24 hours, auto save. You can even set up a custom message to place in your chat every 30 minutes. Here you will have the server properties. I can keep it on easy, a message of the day, and the max players. Now you have to accept the Minecraft EULA in order to start the server. Just click I accept and finish, and you are now all set. My server is now starting automatically. And it's really that simple with Spark Toast. I hope this guide was easy to follow and that it worked perfectly for you. If this guide did not work for you, or if you still have some questions, please let us know in the comments below.